Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today our words will come Matthew chapter 5 and pick up verse 11. It says these words. It says, Blessed are you, and men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the pair of prophets which were before you. Now, a lot of people like this, and they, they focus on these things, and particularly right now, the way the situation in the world and the way things are behaving and things are acting nowadays, a lot of people are focusing a lot on these verses. They're talking about, oh, blessed are we when we're, when we're persecuted and when we're reviled for all manner of evil against us, right? But here's the point. He doesn't stop right there in that phrase. I want you to catch something right here. He says, Blessed are ye when, uh, when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. Falsely. That's huge, guys. Because literally, in all honesty, as citizens of heaven, as citizens of Jesus Christ, as, as saved believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are called to be ambassadors for him in this world. We're called, as crazy can it sound, uh, to be good citizens in this world. Until that point in which they literally are going against God's commands and God's word, we are to be good citizens. So a lot of people right now are throwing their hands saying, oh, persecution, 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 when in reality... It's not that you're being persecuted falsely. I mean, think about that. Let that settle in for a second, guys. Are you behaving yourself? Are we doing the things we're supposed to be doing as Christians? Are we behaving ourselves the way we're supposed to as believers? Because if I get in trouble with somebody for uh, robbing somebody, then I am being accused rightly. But if I get in trouble for uh, being accused of robbing somebody but I didn't do it, I'm being persecuted falsely. See, that's the point. But some want to sit there and go, oh, no, you're so bad, you're so whatever the case may be. Because why? Because they don't want to examine themselves. They don't want to look at their own lives and their own sin. And that's the key there. We should be that light so much so that the darkness of others is exposed. And when that darkness gets exposed, what does darkness want to do? What do those in the dark want to do? They want to revile and speak evil against those in the light. So here's my point today. Let's get out there and walk as the light of Christ. Let's be those who shine forth because we know that they are falsely accusing us for his sake, not falsely accusing us when we're really in the wrong. So I hope this encourages you today to examine your life. Examine all the areas of your life. Make sure that what you're doing is right and fit in the eyes of the Lord and bring glory to his name. I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.